Warning, this is a pest control video. If you are easily offended, please do not watch. So, got a day off work today, and I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to come and uh, shoot the squirrel feeder, since I've been seeing the feeder go down a lot. Um, I'm using a 50-50 mix of b and peanuts and wild bird seed. Um, it's one of the old squirrel foundation feeders mounted to a tree. This one's been in place for about five years now, and as you'll see in a minute, it still draws them in. So I'm sitting back here, about 15 yards away, in my little night force pop-up hide. And I'm going to make our way over now. And uh, as you can see, the feeder, even after five years, is still bringing them in. And uh, I'm using my trusty BSA R10 SE that's just had a full service done by myself. And I'm using the old um, Pard NV007 add-on on the back to take the footage. So yeah, not a bad day so far. We've still got a couple hours to go. Let's see if we can get any more. This one had a very lucky escape with the first shot because if you look closely, the stick right in front of him, the little 177 pellet hit that and deflected off. And I thought after I'd missed it that he would run off and not give me a second opportunity. But unfortunately for him, he stuck around and I got him with the second shot. So I lined up on him where his head position was, waited for him to sit up, eat his nut, and then when he came back down I was already in the right position and that's when I took him, straight in the head, clean. So it wasn't much of a wait and the second one came in, uh, came running for the peanuts. He was a bit skittish, a bit flipping around and uh, I just had, must have had a brain fart or something because I completely missed him, sat in a perfect position. But if you notice the, 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 like the fur missing on the sort of breach of his nose there on the top, you will see that he came back again and I got him the second time round but it was later on in the day. This is a great example of one of the reasons why I mix the peanuts 50-50 with wild bird seed because uh, a lot of the local, local wildlife, by having this feeder here, has created its own little ecosystem. So you'll have the nut hatches, the woodpeckers, the tits and everything. They'll all come in, take seeds, spill some on the floor, then the little shrews and the voles and the pheasants will come round and pick up what's been scattered from the feeder onto the floor. And it's really nice to see all the wildlife, you know, getting a free meal that you're putting in place whilst also eradicating the pests that predate on them and their young. So yeah, I really enjoy this, seeing these beautiful birds and it's just a nice time, nice relaxing time. This one was very skittish, as I lined up on him he decided to run down the tree and it wasn't for a few seconds before I realised why he'd run off that there was actually another squirrel on the tree and as soon as I looked up he was on the feeder so uh, yeah I managed to get him. This one was a big old male and he didn't seem phased at all by the other squirrel on the tree. He investigated the ones down on the floor and then before long he gave me an opportunity and that was the end of him.
This one seemed quite concerned about the ones that were on the floor and he thought he was staying at a nice safe distance away to see what was going on on the ground there but he sat still too long and I managed to drop him as well. Again another squirrel on the tree, uh, this one was quite a porker. He was well fed, obviously been uh, raiding my nuts quite a lot so um, yeah while he stood still again same as the previous one I just got a headshot on him and dropped him clean. Well that's it for today, uh, thank you all for watching, uh, especially if you managed to stick it to the end. Uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.